Uh, one of my students' favorite things to look at is a stir plate. I could just leave that on for an hour and they'd be happy. Turn it up a little bit. Okay. But that's not the point of this demonstration. We're going to talk about exothermic reactions. Now, exothermic reactions get hot. Well, not always. Sometimes exothermic can mean release of energy in another form. So the energy we're going to release today is actually in the form of light energy. We're going to do some chemoluminescence. We're going to use chemicals to produce energy in the form of light. And depending on where I am in the curriculum, uh, usually I do this after I've talked about electron energy levels, electrons being excited and falling back down, and when they fall back down, they're producing light. Um, our curriculum is changing now because the state curriculum is changing, so I'm not quite sure where this is fitting in now. If I haven't talked about electrons, excited electrons yet, I don't need to. I can just use it to talk about exothermic, uh, giving off energy, but not in the form of heat. Um, there is a recipe for this, or you can get someone else to make it for you and buy it from Flynn. It's called instant light crystals. And it's, uh, it's a combination of uh, Clorox 2 dry bleach and uh, an iron compound. And what we're trying to do here is take the luminol, which is in here, and we're oxidizing it. Now, the exact mechanism, I don't know if it is known, but I don't know it. Um, but it, the oxidation of the luminol is accompanied by the reduction of the iron. In the process, bonds are broken, bonds are made, and energy is given off in the form of light. So there's several things you can do with this. And we're going to get this, getting a good stir on it right now. Um, and I do this, started off in a light room, so I know where my hands are. And then I have a student working the light switch to turn the lights down. Don't want to pour too much too fast, but you can see it's not a very long-lasting reaction, but if you sprinkle it in a little bit of time, you can get that swirl spread throughout. And you can see it's kind of a, a blue-green light. It's blue. If we can get the top of this, we can see the blue on the top especially, and then swirl it all through. Um, it's not as good as a glow stick because it doesn't last as long. Okay, if we can turn the lights on now. But we can do other things with it. And you can see, too, uh, that it doesn't look so pretty in the light. Um, so the reaction is, is producing this kind of milky, sludgy mixture. Um, one of the things I like to do with it, though, is I have a piece of paper towel. And I'm going to get that a little wet just to get it damp. And... This works a lot better here with the overhead camera, but if you do it in the classroom, I'm just going to show you this before I put the, the light crystals on it. If you do it in the classroom and you have something that's going to hold the paper towel, you can turn it this way for your students. Um, we have the overhead camera, though, so that makes life a little easier. Okay, so I'm going to sprinkle it on the damp paper towel. Okay, if we can get some light action here. Okay. And you see a couple little glowing crystals. And if I spray it with the mister, I can really get a good glow there. And I find this more exciting than the other. Okay, we got, you could play a little starry music in the background. Um, and you can do this. If you've got one of those days where you just don't have enough uh, to keep your kids busy all day, you know, I had parent-teacher conferences last night. I'm kind of tired. I'd just rather have a little fun than teach. Uh, another type of energy that can be given off in a reaction, not just heat energy. Uh, we talk about heat more than anything, and we calculate things in terms of heat. But energy comes in many different forms. And when bonds are made, energy is released, and sometimes they're released in the form of light. Again, if you've done your atomic uh, electron configurations and you know about electrons being excited, you can tie that in as well. So, thank you.